<coughs> uh, hello guys, uh, welcome to this uh, Visual Basic tutorial. Um, this is will be the fifth tutorial of a series of tutorial to teach you how to create a database using I uh, know teach you how to manipulate data on your database using Visual Basic. Uh, first of all, I, I went ahead already and did the prog the, the program already because I had a problem when I was recording the initial video of this so instead of doing the work over ag uh, again uh, I just decided I would walk you through on the process of checking for duplicates on your uh, ensuring that there won't be any duplicates in your database so before we, uh, before we start coding um, you need to go to your data set, the dbtutords.xsd, uh, create, right click on the data table adapter and click on add and add a query. You're gonna add, um, after that one, click on next and select this one and click on next. And in your SQL select statement, just add this code, customer name, is equals to question mark, so that we will uh, we can ensure our database that no customer name is, uh, no, the same customer n name will be added in our database. Um, click next, uh, name this uh, scalar customer name. Then click next again. Okay, since I added already, that's why I have that. Uh, I used that name already. That's why I have I had that error. So I'll just put that one. Then click finish. So I'm just gonna click cancel after that one. Click on build and build your solution. As soon as you build your solution, um, click on go back to your customer database code after which you need to add this subroutine this subroutine so that because on our on our on the previous um, tutorials I didn't add this one and what this subroutine means is is that it's gonna clear all the text boxes on our uh, form so every time the add tool strip menu item click event is triggered the form will enable our text boxes and our buttons for us and at the same time it will clear all the text inside our form so after that one uh, we're gonna check for the the duplicates if we're gonna in uh, if we're gonna check for the duplicates of our customer name so write this code dimension count uh, customer name scalar customer name it will check if the name that we type in text box 2 already exists in our database so the meaning of this code if count is equals to zero if 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 the customer name is new in the database, it will uh, the count our count value will be equal to zero, and it will go ahead and save the customer name in our database. However, if count if the count if the customer name already exists, the count value will become one, so it will trigger the L our else statement, and a message box will be shown to you saying that the customer name already exists in the DB and it will exit this subroutine so and I added this one customer TA dispose uh, this will ensure that um, after we use the the customer stable adapter it will dispose it will dispose the resources used by it resources of our computer used by it and 
that's it it's a pretty straightforward approach so let's try the the program now so let's run the program you can also run it by clicking on the start button here uh, okay don't isolate okay click on file customize database okay as you can see and let me just check my database okay if I was able to add um, no we, we don't have anything in our database so that's all right so let's go ahead and add I'll add customer A okay and the address will be customer A address mobile number uh, email at sleep.co.uk and customer A so click on save so as soon as we click the add button see we, we can add a fresh um uh, the the for uh, VB prepared the form for us so that we can just encode the new customer customer B and customer B address and random number customer B B at eat dot co dot UK and the contact name is customer B so now we're going to check our our account because it's gonna allow us to use uh, the name of the customers again so let's try customer A A customer A address uh, mobile number um, email uh, eat dot co dot uk and random name and click save as you can see VB alerted us that the customer name already exists and the if we are going to check your database only two items were added so I hope you, in, you, you learned something from this tutorial um, if you want uh, if you like what I'm doing here uh, if you have any questions feel free to comment on the comment section below and don't forget to subscribe or add um, we're gonna finish this we have still a long way to go and hopefully we're gonna finish uh, I'm gonna teach you how to do an inventory system after we finish this code uh, this form okay so happy coding guys and bye